After missing the OHL playoffs last season, the Mississauga Steelheads are back in the thick of a tightly packed Eastern Conference. Helping lead the charge is big forward Nathan Bastion in his second full season, one of the OHL's most improved players. He's a big guy, big right shot. He can play the center and play wing. Uh, really excels around the front of the net uh, with his size and his strength. And he's a guy who uh, you know, was a seventh round pick to our organization, played a year at Junior B and then kind of got his feet wet in, uh, in OHL action the second half of the year, but he's, he's been getting better every day. Using his 6'4", 208-pound frame to dominate the opposition, Bastion also discovered his scoring touch. And by early December, he had already surpassed his point totals from last season. Uh, I've been playing with some good line mates, and uh, I had a good summer every year. I just want to feel like I just want to make sure that every year I come back, I'm getting better and I'm a better player. And this year, I want to be a leader on the team. I, I want to be an impact player in the league. A tireless worker at both ends of the ice, Bastion also excels with the Steelheads shorthanded on one of the OHL's most effective penalty kills. I'm one of those guys that uh, isn't too flashy and I pride myself in doing all the little things well and uh, I think the penalty kill is a big part of that. I love being a part of that. It's a momentum thing and sometimes throwing off big penalty helps you a lot more than you think. Bastion's high-flying Steelheads teammates Alex Nylander and Mike McLeod are projected top 10 picks for this summer's NHL draft. But perhaps no skater in his draft year has raised his game more dramatically than Nathan Bastion. The 127th player picked in the OHL draft just three years ago, Bastion was rated 19th best prospect in North America on NHL Central Scouting's January list. You know, from the first time I saw him play, Nathan's been getting better every time he gets on the ice. So his upside is tremendous. Um, he's a player who maybe doesn't recognize what the impact that he can make on the game. He's a very, uh, very humble kid, but uh, he's well deserving of all the accolades. Stock just keeps on getting better and better, does Nathan Bastion. Accolades for Bastion have included invites to the CHL Top Prospects game and a chance to skate for Team OHL in the November Super Series against Russia. Bastion's success has come from a clear vision of the type of player he strives to be. I try to be a, a big strong forward, maybe like a Ryan Getzlaff, uh, right hand shot, Jeff Carter type uh, player. Guys that are good along the walls. I, I just want to make sure that uh, I'm a tough player to play against every night. With three top prospects on the top line, as well as high-end defender Sean Day, pro scouts will be watching the Steelheads every night. In a season that should see Mississauga's return to the OHL playoffs, anticipation of the NHL draft adds another layer of excitement. You know, it's only gonna happen once. It's gonna be a fun year. Uh, we have a competitive team and, you know, don't get caught up in all the, uh, in all the hoopla. Uh, just uh, play hockey, enjoy it, and uh, it's an experience that's not gonna happen again. For Inside the O, I'm Chris Schooley.